What's up guys, Steve here with Slab Dynasty, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you what the single best buzzbait trailer is. Let's do it. Okay guys, so the title of this video, what is the best buzzbait trailer? That's why you're here. You wanna know what the best is. You want one option. Well guys, as is the case with so much in the sport of bass fishing, it's not that simple. Now look, I'm going to keep my promise and I'm gonna tell you one option that I think is the best, but, but, there are so many different options and they all have their place. Everything is dependent on the situation, the time of year, the, the type of cover you're fishing, the type of bait fish present. But I firmly believe there is one trailer out there that is the best and it stands above the rest. So we are going to reveal that. But before we get into that, I wanna talk about some other options for buzzbait trailers and just give you guys a lay of the land when it comes to buzzbait trailers. Just so you guys know what's out there, what you can use, what different trailers are used for, and that way you're a more educated buzzbait fisherman. You're not one dimensional, and you can catch more bass probably. So guys, look, here's the thing with buzzbaits. Um, buzzbaits are pretty simple. You know, they're, they're not complicated baits. Uh, so, you know, while I do say everything's dependent, blah, 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 uh, there, you're really, there's not like this infinite amount of options and this huge big decision tree that you gotta go through in order to choose a buzzbait trailer. It's really not, it's pretty simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys kind of what some of my favorite trailers are here. Uh, and then at the very end, I'm gonna talk about what I think is the best, what I use most often. But I, I first wanna talk about some of these other trailers that I use and when I use them. So I've actually got some of these here. And uh, the first situation is, you know, right now it's fall. You might be watching this during another time, but right now it's fall. And uh, you know, a lot of my buzz bait fishing is uh, centered around bait fish. So a lot of times I will actually go with a soft paddle tail swim bait like this Strike King Rage Swimmer. Uh, this is a 3.75 inch size, which is a great size for a buzz bait. Uh, really the key with this that's different than other buzz bait trailers is you're trying to match the hatch. You know, a lot of times in the fall, you'll see bass schooling on bait, right? They'll come up, they'll start busting. Uh, you'll see a lot of shad like flickering on the top. And what's really important to fooling those fish on a buzz bait is sometimes to match the hatch as closely as you can. So to match that, that size of that swim bait, that profile to the bait that they're feeding on. And that's why a swim bait can be a really good option. Another option in that regard is one of these, a, uh, a fluke style bait. And I'll actually throw a fluke style bait on a buzz bait, which is, is not something you, you honestly hear about a whole lot. A lot of guys will, will throw the swim baits, they'll throw the other stuff. Uh, a fluke is kind of a dark horse. And I'll actually, I'll throw a fluke on when I'm fishing a buzz bait really fast, right? So I'm fishing and I'm like almost like skittering it across the surface. Uh, a fluke is, is a great bait for that because it doesn't have that secondary action back there. And if you try to burn a buzz bait with, with something else that has, uh, you know, like a kicking tail, like, like a swim bait or one of these other baits, uh, it's gonna look a little weird. It's gonna, it's not gonna transmit the action as well that you're imparting from reeling it really fast. A fluke will do that really well though. It's kind of the same concept of uh, putting one of these on a chatterbait trailer, right? You want that tail just to mimic the action that the actual blade on the chatterbait is creating. Same thing with a buzz bait. It's basically just like the top water version of a chatterbait at that point. I'll only do that when the fish are schooling actively and I'm fishing really clear water. Uh, that, that's one thing that I think is kind of kind of a key with that. So a lot of your like blueback herring lakes, things like that, where you know guys are throwing flukes or they're throwing big topwater walking baits. Uh, burning a buzz bait with a fluke on it is actually another great alternative. I, I've caught fish doing that. So, but yeah, guys, you know that's that's focused on bait. That's when bait is present, and I'm really trying to to mimic the bait. Uh, and sort of create those feeding reactions. But, you know, honestly, most of my buzz baiting, and I think most buzz baiting in general, uh, is happening around cover 
and uh, you're, you're essentially using it as a tool to cover water and elicit reaction strikes. So that's what some of these other trailers come into play for. So uh, a few other trailers that I like are uh, really just in general creature baits. I've got a couple different creature baits here. Uh, one is a Jean LaRue Biffelbug. This is a classic. Really, really like this on a buzz bait because it's got this big old wide tail. It's got these kickers, it's got some appendages, but it's got this big old wide tail too that uh, you know, when you're when you're trailing that thing, it just kind of gives off this subtle flap, uh, and it's it's really something different. It's almost like it's got a tail, so it so it maybe looks like a big tadpole or something like that. Uh, you know, it's it's definitely a little different than a lot of your you know standard creature baits. But you know, one thing that that all of these creature baits do is they give a really good you know profile, a nice flat surface area. To be able to skip that buzz bait and that's i think the biggest key with a buzz bait especially when you're covering water around physical targets you need to be able to skip this thing so you know fishing a creature bait's a good option because you've got that nice flat surface wide um, and then you know you've got some secondary action typically in the form of some kind of legs or appendages so another creature bait that i like to throw with a buzz bait is one of these, a Zoom Z Crawl. Now this is a junior size, so you know you could throw this on a smaller buzz bait. Um, on a buzz bait like this, which is, is like a quarter ounce, a little bit bigger, I would probably, actually this is a 3 8 ounce, but I'd probably throw the regular size Z Crawl, which I've actually got one right here, there you go. There's a regular size Z Crawl. It's not rigged very straight, I kind of rushed on that, but um, yeah, the, that's another great bait. It's just super simple. And uh, it's just got, it's got a little bit more of a slender profile than other, other creature baits. So sometimes it's a little more ideal uh, for drawing finicky strikes. Yeah, yeah, I really, really like the Z crawl. That, that's another great one. But you know, if I'm being honest guys, any creature bait will work. You know, whether it's, it's Biffle Bug, Z crawl, a Rage crawl, um, a Missile Baits D-Bomb, you name it, doesn't matter it'll work on a buzz bait. Like I said, buzz bait trailers, you can simplify. It's not too complicated. One thing to keep in mind though is color. You know, um, color is, is a big thing. And if I'm fishing a buzz bait in super dingy water, then I probably want to go with something like this, this purple or like just a really, really dark, like right here, I've got like a black and blue uh, with some blue flake in it. Uh, so if I'm able to kind of like slow roll that buzz bait and have a really dark creature bait trailer, especially like if I had a dark version of this that's got all this stuff going on, then that's going to help with visibility and help those fish key in on the bait. So if you're faced with uh, really dingy water, I would consider, you know, a big kind of crazy creature bait that's got a lot of appendages, a lot of profile, uh, but is also dark and silhouettes really nicely in that murky water. So yeah, those are those are some of the the trailers that I've used in the past. I've had success on, uh, but guys, I want to get to the main stuff here, and that is the answer to the question that I've proposed in this video. The answer that you have come here to find out: what is the best buzzbait trailer? And I do believe there is a best, and it's right here. Yep, this is a zoom horny toad. Now, what this is, is a soft plastic toad or a soft plastic frog bait. So there are other brands of those. There's a, you know, a striking rage toad, I believe. Yep, rage toad. There's all kinds of other brands of them. Really, most of them are, are more or less the same. Some of these kick a little harder than the zoom horny toad, but in general, a horny toad or a, a soft plastic frog style bait is the best trailer for a buzz bait. And here's why. I've actually got some, of course, rigged up already. As you can see, this one, <laughs> this one's been on here for a long time. I actually super glued this one on here. And one thing you'll also notice with, with like a lot of these buzz baits is I don't have a skirt on them. I take off the skirt. That's one thing you'll see a lot if you if you watch other buzz bait videos, if you watch pros talk about buzz baits. Um, they're really opting for taking that skirt off. And you know, the biggest reason for me that I take the skirt off is A, so I can you know rig this on a little bit more cleanly. 
Uh, but B, you know, the main thing is because I want this bait to be able to skip as, as well as it possibly can. And having a bare soft plastic on there is the best way to do that. This thing skips like an absolute dream. I mean, you can, you can sit there and just shoot it so far up under a dock, it's not even funny. Uh, and I think a, a skirt really hinders that. Uh, you know, if you watch other videos about buzz baits, pros talk about this. They, they give their reasons why they don't throw with a skirt on. Some guys do, actually do throw with a skirt on. Um, you know, really what that skirt does is it gives it a little bit um, of that kind of like pulsating action, which I guess in some situations could be key. It, it could make a difference, but uh, in my mind, that really hinders the ability to skip this thing to its maximum skipping potential. So I'm typically taking these off. But yeah, look, 99.9% .9 of the time, guys, I'm, I'm throwing uh, either a white or a black Zoom Horny Toad. And if you watch a lot of other videos about buzzbait trailers, you'll find the same exact thing. This is not groundbreaking information that I'm sharing here. Uh, this, is, this is something that has definitely been popularized in, in recent years. So the other thing that you get with this is you get just a really meaty bait, even meatier than a lot of these creature baits. It's, this is just a lot to grab onto. And uh, what a lot of guys say is it, it helps with hookup ratio. So these, this fish sort of has something more, uh, just more substance to grab onto. And in that super, you know, quick, you know, it's only a few milliseconds that we're talking when, it, when a bass com comes up and strikes this, if he's able to grip down on something with more substance, you're going to be able to get that hook in him better. And I think that's another reason why guys take off the skirt. You know, when you have just a, a like a bare skirt, uh, they don't have as much. They ca they'll kind of miss it. They'll miss it to the side, uh, or they'll they'll bite and they'll bite short. Uh, but with this guy, it's really it, they know exactly what they're going for, and they can key in on it a little bit better. But yeah, guys. Like I said, it's it's not rocket science. Um, you know, honestly, I've, I've given you all a few options. It's up to you to really decide what what works best for you. What works best for your water. You might have you know, barely any cover, physical cover in the water, and it might be a bunch of open water. So in that case, you might wanna mimic more of a, of a bait fish pattern, go with a more finesse approach. Um, you might be on a lake with a ton of docks, and in that case, you know, horny toad's gonna do wonders for you. You're gonna be able to skip this thing under. Uh, you might be in a place where there's really murky, dingy water, and so a, a really dark creature bait might be the best option. You really just need to get out there and test around. Uh, but in my humble opinion, again, I'm no pro guys, but I've been doing this for a little while. Buzzbait is one of my favorite techniques. It's probably my favorite top water to throw. And I just, I couldn't imagine fishing a buzzbait without a horny toad on there. It allows me to skip this thing and put it in all kinds of situations where I couldn't put other baits. So that, in my opinion, is the single best buzzbait trailer out there, the Zoom horny toad. That's all I got guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing. We do other how-to videos like this. We also do really in-depth bait reviews. And then we also do super high quality cinematic bass fishing videos. They're so sick guys. Oh, we've got an awesome editor. My brother, he edits all of our videos and they are just, mm, man, super, super high quality stuff. So I'd encourage y'all to go check those out and uh, consider subscribing if you like what you see. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate you. Slab out.